Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a gizmo from the gremlins. Let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start with a big circle on the left side. So starting from the top, I'm going to come around to the bottom and then back up to the top. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to leave a gap in the middle, starting at the top, come around to the bottom and then back up to the top. From here let's draw two smaller circles but we're going to shift them inwards. So from the top we're just going to leave a little gap on the outside, so curving around and then pulling it back along the inside. So you have this nice even gap around here. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting from the top, we'll go in the opposite direction, curving around and then towards the inside. On the top of each of the irises, we're going to draw in a highlight. So up here, we'll draw in a circle. And then in the middle of the iris, we're going to tuck the pupil in behind the highlight. So at the bottom of the highlight here, we'll curve around and then in towards the side of the highlight, we'll color the pupil in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So up here we're going to draw in a highlight circle, and then in the middle of the iris we're going to draw in the pupil. So in behind the highlight, come in behind there on the side, and we'll color that in black. Let's move in between the eyes just down here and draw on the nose. So we're going to draw like an oval but with an open end at the bottom. Starting on the left side, we're going to circle around to the top and then come around with a hook on the right. In here we're going to draw two small circles filled in black for the nostrils. Below the nose, we're going to draw on the mouth. So we're going to start with a curve first. From left to right, we're going to curve across. Now we're going to take these ends and curl them back up to give them a little bit of a smile. At the ends of the mouth, we're going to draw a little bracket just to finish off the ends. And then down here, we're going to draw on the bottom of the mouth. So at the bottom of this curve on the left, curve down towards the bottom of the mouth and come up on the right side. Underneath the top lip, we're going to draw a curve like this for the teeth. And at the bottom, we'll give them some teeth down here as well. So we're just going to draw a curve across. Inside the middle of the mouth, we're going to draw a curve for the tongue. Going across from left to right. Now in here, we're just going to color that in black. At the bottom of the mouth, just below here, we're just going to draw a little curve for the bottom lip. From here, I'm going to go to the top of the head and just draw a curve along the tops of the eyes. So starting just above the left eye here, I'm going to draw a little bit of fur at the top as well. So going up, I'm going to curve across towards the middle. Now we're going to pull that back. I'm going to do another hair going across, and then we'll pull that back. Now I'm going to bring this down just above the right eye, curving down like that. From here, I'm going to draw on the side of the head, but we're going to add some fur going around the eyes down towards the chin. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve outwards. Now we're going to pull that back in. We're going to continue this going out, in, and going, working our way around the eyes. Now we're starting to bend them downwards here. We'll just go a little bit smaller as we get down towards the bottom here. Now this is going to connect with the bottom of the chin, but before we do that, let's go to the right side and do this exact same thing. We're going to flip this over. Starting at the top, curve out, come back in. Again, we're trying to work our way around the eyes on the outside. Again, we'll draw one more down here, I mean down. Now that we got down to about the same height as the eyes, we're going to curve just below that lip. So right here, curve around, down below the lip, and we're going to curve up towards the right side, curving upwards. Let's add a little separator from the nose down towards the chin. So just on the side of the nostril here, we're going to curve in between the eye and the mouth, and we're going to curve this back down to the side of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. So going in between the eye and the mouth, and then curving down. Let's add the little eye patch here. So from this corner, we're going to curve in towards the middle and down, and we're going to add a little bit of fur detail. So going back up, come down again, Go up one more time. Now we're going to curve this right in towards the top of the nose, like that. Let's add in the big ears. So we're going to start on the left side. We're going to curve up and then curve out. So right up here, we're going to go up and we're going to swoop this out and down towards the left. Let's do the same thing on the right. So right here, we curve up and we're going to curve it down and out towards the right. Now from these tips, I just want to go a little bit wider as we come back in towards the head, just for the ridge of the ear. So tapering it wider. And we're just going to keep it consistent as we come back in towards the head. 
Let's do the same on the right side. So coming around, and keeping that same thickness till we get to the back of the head. Now we're gonna draw in the inner ear detail. So from that point, we're gonna step over towards the right a little, curving in, out, and then we'll pull it up. Let's do a couple more down this way. So we're gonna come down to the bottom of this curve, curving around and then up. Now one final one at the bottom of this curve, we're gonna curve this in behind the head. Let's do the same thing over here. So stepping over towards the left, curve in, out, and then we'll just pull that back in. At the bottom of the curve, we'll draw another curve going up, and then one final one down here. We're just gonna tuck this in behind the fur. Let's draw in the body. So on either side of the chin, we're gonna draw a curve. It's almost like an oval that comes down towards the bottom down here. So on the left side, I'm just gonna start with a curve that goes out and in. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So going out and then in. We're gonna add a little bit of fur along the bottom. So on the left side, we're gonna go up, and we're gonna make our way down towards the middle here. So curving in, we'll do one more, going up. Now we're gonna come down towards the middle, just down here in line with the nose. We're gonna go back up on the right side. So curving up, we're just mirroring this over on the right side, coming down. Going up past that point, and we'll just curve inwards. From here, let's draw on the legs. So at the bottom point, I'm gonna start with a straight line coming down. Now we're gonna work our way down the bottom of the foot on the left, up towards the side of the leg. So from here, I'm gonna curve towards the toes. So a downward curve. Let's do the same thing on the right to match it. So left and right. Over here at the end of this curve, we're gonna draw in a circle for the first toe, just up against that line there. Now here, we're gonna layer them in behind. So at the top of the circle, we're gonna do almost like a C shape, and we'll draw one more, just tucked in behind. Now from the hips up here, we wanna make our way down towards that middle toe. So I'm gonna start on the hip here, we're gonna curve out, We'll do a little bit of fur, we're gonna curve back in. Go out, curve back in, and then I'm gonna curve this right down to the top of that middle toe. Let's do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna start with a circle for the toe first, and we're gonna do a backward C, just beside it, and then do one more for the third toe. Now we're gonna go up to the hip, curve down, go back up. Again, we're aiming towards that top center toe. Going down, back up, and I'll curve this down towards that middle toe there. Let's finish this off with the arms. So I'm just gonna have the arms on the side here. So we start about halfway down the body. Right here, we're gonna curve out. From here, let's draw on the thumb. So I'm gonna draw a curve coming down and just curving that back up. So it's elongated, almost like a half oval. From here, I'm gonna curve down. Now I'm gonna round out the finger, going back up and up like that. So for the first finger, we're gonna layer the fingers going this way. So at the bottom side of this finger, we're gonna curve up. Now for the third one, we're gonna go right up here, curve this up, and just tuck this in behind the head. Now here, we just wanna add a little bit of fur on the cuff. So right here at this thumb end of the wrist, we're gonna go up and curve it down towards the fingers and curve it back up. We're gonna continue this until we get to the side of the arm. Going up like that, and then we'll curve just down on the side. We're gonna draw another layer up here. So we're going up, down, up, and you can see that we're just following that same curve here, just above it. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So lining up the inside of the arm, curving down. We're gonna do that little half oval for the thumb. Now with the finger, we're gonna bend it in. So we're bending it in towards the leg, round out the finger, and go back up. At the bottom side of the finger, draw in one more. And then up here, we're gonna curve this all the way back up underneath the head, going up like that. Let's add in the fur here. So we're gonna go up with an angle, and we'll curve down towards the fingers. And again, continuing this until we get to the side of the arm. We're gonna repeat this just above it. On the side there. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Gizmo from the Gremlins. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and share this lesson with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.